Hey everyone, Jax is here. All right, I'm gonna try and do a quick rundown of what you want to do after you get the first hit. In the I cover full combo, you know, just cash out, get the most damage. Uh, Oki, what it is, how to do it, and resets. Term you probably heard thrown around a lot. May have some understanding of, but hopefully get everyone up to speed on it. So first up, I'm gonna start with this situation. Pretend that this peacock is not just a training dummy, but is instead an opponent who is slinging projectiles at me all day long. Right here is not really the best place to be. I want to be up close, right? So I manage to get through all the projectiles and everything, and I get a hit. If I want to cash out and get the full combo, get the most damage, it looks something like this. Okay, so as you can see, this will do right about half health. Not too bad for one bar. However, there's two main problems with it. One we'll get to at the end of the video, but the second one that is more important is look at where we are. This is not where I as Valentine want to be. Peacock is now at full screen, exactly where she wants to be, you know, at half health, but hey, she's got control of the neutral, she can control the flow of the match, all that good stuff. It is now my problem get back in. I don't really want that. So that's, you know, main downside of going for full damage is most of the time you give up good positioning to get that full damage. Not the case for all characters. For a lot of characters and in a lot of other games, that is just more or less a So what is Oki? The other thing I mentioned. All right, so Oki or Okizime, is M -A -I, however you say it, uh, is a Japanese term for wake up game. Basically, you knock the opponent down. You gotta stand up, right? Uh, as they stand up, they are vulnerable the same frame they can move. If you put a hitbox on them, and they do something that is not block or be invincible, they lose. Attacks have startup, jumps have startup, uh, backdashes in this game are not invincible. Uh, same with running forward, stuff like that. So, better block, you better be invincible. Okay, I'm now going to demo the Valentine version of an Oki Ender combo. I'm going to, it's going to look the same as that last combo, but instead of doing heavy bypass at the end into super, uh, I'm going to do the medium bypass, which will whiff. Why? So as you can see there, Peacock had to stand up in place. This is an Oki setup specifically because it is a hard knockdown, meaning that they cannot tech a direction. I'll get into that in a sec. But as you saw, I knocked Peacock down and then I stuck a button on her as she stood up. In this case, it was Crouching Light Kick. Couple advantages to Oki. One, as you can see here, my positioning is way better. I don't have to get in. She is in fact in the corner. So she has way less options and I have time to set up after I knock her down. That's the other really important. With that, you can do a couple things. One, run mix up. So I can knock her down and go directly into a low like you saw earlier, or I can knock her down and go for an overhead. I can knock her down and go for a throw. There's all sorts of things you can do here, specifically because you have the time to set up, right? And Peacock is just forced to stand up right where she is and deal with whatever you're doing. Of course, again, as I said earlier, she does have another option, which is the Invincible. Peacock does have a reversal, many of the characters in the game do, so if you always just stick a hitbox on top of them, then sometimes you'll just, you know, lose. Wake up supers are generally invincible. Wake up DPs, those are all reversals, it means they are invincible until they are active, so if you do a move and they use the reversal, they will be invincible through your move and then hit you and then your move goes away and then it doesn't hit them on the recovery. Watch out for reversals. Really core concept of fighting games though, as you give your opponent an option, in this case do reversal, you are taking away others, in this case, things that aren't block or be invincible. As you shift that around, you're like, okay, this time I'm going to run up and block. Now, reversal is a bad option, and 
uh, doing something that is not block or reversal specifically is the correct one. So shifting back and forth between those or around a set cycle is really important being good at fighting games. That is like the core of what you want to do. Keep your opponent guessing, never let them get comfortable with how safe an option is. Okay, so there was one more thing that I talked about there though. There's a full combo, Oki or Okazeme, and finally there are resets. Resets are the core of Skullgirl. An Oki setup is dropping a combo, or ending a combo early, sorry, to get better positioning. Resets are taking that concept and just moving it even further back in the combo to get even better positioning. For Oki, you knock them down, they know when they're going to stand up, they know what options they have, and they know like roughly where on the screen they're going. They also have time as they're getting comboed and then standing back up to think about what you've done in the past and kind of formulate a plan for what they're going to do on Wake Up. Resets come way faster and be in several locations and the available options are constantly shifting. So what is a reset? Something I'm going to be able to show easier than tell. So I am going to show you a very common reset point as Valentine. Okay, so I'm going to launch Peacock, two bypasses, and then air dash. Okay, so after that air dash, I'm going to have several options that I can go. All of them have some risk. Resets are generally riskier than Oki, though I'll we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, however, you have many more options, and done correctly, your opponent has less of an idea of what is safe and what is not. So I'm going to launch her, do the air dash, and I am going to show dropping the combo early, landing directly in front of her, same side, and just pressing light punch a couple times. I have to block this by holding away from where I started. Now I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to look very similar, but I'm going to end up on the other side. As you can see, that right there on its own is a pretty strong left-right mix-up. Uh, especially because of the way Skullgirls work, there is it works, there is no teching in the air. You just exit hit stun and are immediately vulnerable. This also lets me do things like the following. Instead of left or right, throw on a third option here, air throw. There's several more options that you can add here, but the important part is you are giving the opponent options back. They have the ability to block, they haven't lost those next couple hits of their health bar, and they generally have more options. Uh, resets aren't often quite as tight as Oki, where you just have a hitbox on them the second they wake up, because if you did, then it would just combo and not a reset. But by giving them more options, you get some heat. And this is where I get into Skullgirl's Anik, the drama bar. Okay, so the drama bar is that green glowing bar that's showing up under both characters' health bar. Uh, I'm in training mode, so I just have them both set to max. Generally, you will only see one or the other maxed at a time. And so this bar fills as you get further into combos. A little bit more to it than that, but that's all you should care about for now. Uh, and as the bar fills, you do less damage. Significantly less damage. There's a demo with the drama bar full of two supers back to back. You can see there, it like almost lines up with Big Band's left eye. And here's that same demo with drama set to zero. You can see that does like roughly double the damage. That's, you know, pretty notable. So that is specifically at max drama bar scaling, but as the combo goes further on, your hits do less damage, and that carries over into the next combo. So drama will drain almost immediately after the opponent. That does mean that if you knock them down and go for Oki, that is like true Oki and the hit is meaty, there's no time where they can move, or they are in hit stun, block stun, 
throw tech or wake up, uh, which is states that stop the drama bar from finishing. So it will be exactly where you left off on the old combo. It's not really what you want. However, with resets, most of the time, again, they're not quite as tight. So your opponent has a couple frames that they can move, and that lets the drama bar start draining. Also, it's clear in a combo, so the drama bar hasn't filled up as much. What this means is if you do a full combo, say you do half their health, right? However, if you go for a reset early, if your opponent options back and you are gambling that damage from the full combo, it's not guaranteed. However, if you get the combo, probably doing two thirds of their life, or depending on the team size, you might just be able to kill their character straight up. Uh, also resources. So that is why resets are so strong. They actually give you more damage most of them. And the advantage situation is incredibly strong. Your opponent has to guess several times and the number of reset points that can be in a combo can very easily overload your opponent's mental stack, like the number of things that they are keeping track of, and slow down their reaction times because of it, which you know, is always good if you're trying to mix them up. All right, thank you very much. Uh, sorry that this ended up being this format, me just talking to a camera. I was working on another video, but we are coming up to the end of the Kickstart League soon, so I just wanted to get something out. Uh, hopefully this helps. If you want to know what your character's main resets are, one, there's going to be a million of them. You find your own, but you'll want to have a starting point. So two, is that starting point, go to them to be If character for whatever reason doesn't have combos or resets listed in the Mizumi wiki, I'll do. Uh, then go to the Skullgirls Discord, check the hashtags for each character on Twitter. Uh, if you're at the Salem Smash Fests or in the Skullgirls Kickstart League, what I'm making this for, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'll help you look around or let you know of any that I know. Uh, Alright, thank you very much and hope this helped.